Warning, this episode contains adult language, mature situations, Izekai main characters with broken cheat skills, neat tendencies, overused plot points, random villains, and new manga release information. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Listener discretion is advised. Episode 422, Lonely Life in Another World. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Spyrokin Manga Review, some podcasts and bearing reviews about connectedly enhanced narratives. I'm your host, Zan, saying konnichiwa, aloha, bonjour, and what's up? Hope all of you are doing well and are excited for another fun-filled manga review. And I am very excited to talk about this new one and also more excited about the manga news for the day. But beforehand, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome! Spyrokin, or Some Podcasts and Vang Reviews About Connectly Enhanced Narratives, is a podcast network which is dedicated to teaching you about new and different geeky topics and other things based on our podcasts. Usually we tell you the best things about each subject and the pros and cons about it. And since it's the manga review, obviously we're talking about manga. I tell you how the art style is, the overarching plot, the characters, the narrative itself, the production quality, and most importantly, if it's worth investing your time in or not. You don't have to agree with anything that I and my co-host say, but we try to be educational, enlightening, exciting, and most importantly, entertaining. You can check out any of our earlier episodes at www.spirekin.com. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube, Stitcher, and various other social media sites. If you look in the show notes, you'll find links to all of them. And if you'd like to support this podcast, feel free to join one of the tiers at our Patreon at patreon.podbean.com slash spirekin or patreon.com slash spirekin. And with your support, you're going to be helping us to continue to make these really fun podcasts and to create fun new content for you to enjoy. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, you can email me personally at zan, that's X-A-N, at spirekin.com, or you can tweet me at spirekin. And one last fun little thing, if you want to watch some fun Let's Plays, you can check out our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash spirekin. So now that all that shameless plugging is out of the way, let's actually get to the review of the episode because... If you remember, in the last episode, I spun that one, that only, the Wheel of Manga. It dictated into that reviewing a very cool manga that is written by Goji Shoji and illustrated by Bibi, B-I-B-I. This was published by Overlap and brought over here by Kaiten Books. It is a manga adaptation of a light novel series that has over six volumes. It was released by Comic Gordo Magazine. It is classified as an action-adventure, comedy, fantasy, harem, romance series that is a shonen. Uh, originally came out 2019 to present with seven chapters slash volumes. And the title of this is Hitoribochi no Izekai Koryaku, or Loner Life in Another World, or Lonely Attack on a Different World. And this is an Izekai! Hooray! But it's a little different because our main character, Haruka, is a loner. He's not with any of the cliques. He's not with the nerds. He's not with the athletic people. He's not with the popular kids. He just wants to stick by himself. And when he sees the typical Izekai summoning circle appear at the bottom of the classroom floor he says you know what first this is cool we're going to izakai world wait a minute i'm stuck with these people i gotta get out of here so he immediately tries to escape the room however the izakai circle goes off but because he was about to escape the room and go through a hidden exit he actually is summoned to a different place than the rest of the classroom and the being that has summoned him is like I screwed up. I was supposed to summon 30 of you and 42 showed up and now you're in another room. I don't know what to do. Um, uh, and Haruka's like, uh, you know what? You kind of screwed me over. Uh, maybe give me something. And he looks at the spells and the skills that are available because most Izakais you get to choose your skills. And he's like, there's not much left. A bunch of random skills. Like one, you can put all your stats into one class and then you can roll to see if you double it or not there's one which is the ability to have walk magic which is traveling magic you have one which makes you into a marionette essentially there's one which is giving you the healthy skill it's a bunch of just very generic and very strange abilities and because he guilt trips the old man the old man says you know what fine you got screwed over i messed up i'm giving you everything have fun and he's like but 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 because some of it is really bad. Like one of it is it gives him the job of neat and loner. Neat means he's a hikikomori. He, if he lives in a house, he can protect it and no one can come attack him. But being a loner means he can't join any party. 
Also, his skills are super low, or they're not low, but he can't level up easily. So he'll have great abilities, but he'll be level 2 while everyone else is level 10. And he is stuck. Uh, so he's sitting at the world, and he decides, I am going to live alone and be a loner. And so the first thing he does is he finds a cave, and he makes a really cool mansion because he is smart and has studied. And whenever he fights goblins or other little things, he kills them with his one ability, which is, well, Cain ability so he's able to use a cane like a sword and that's his main attack so he's able to defend himself he ends up eating tons of mushrooms and because of a skill he got uh called contact lens he's able to see the stats of everything so he knows what's poisonous what's not and he makes a decent life for himself he ends up running into his classmates and it turns out there's been a huge divide with the classmates the nerds figured out what to do and because they're nerds, they're the ones saying, listen, we got to do this, this, and we'll survive. The class president was all for it. However, all of the stupid popular girls and all the jerks saying, you know what? No, we're not going to do this. Have the nerds do it. And having the nerds do everything or the otaku doing everything is going to put stress on them. So they say, you know what? Screw it. We don't need this. We're leaving. So the class is decimated completely. Also, you have a bunch of delinquents who want to take control and lots of politics happening. And meanwhile, Haruka just wants to be left alone. But eventually he decides to help his classmates and, you know, help them be better. And he's not going to rely on their cheats. And he ends up becoming friends with a lot of them and becoming a loner, but not really. So this is a series which is a straight-up Isekai fantasy literally he has the weirdest skills but he's super op more powerful than all the other characters because he's dedicated to it he works his ass off to be the best he can be and even though he's not super like i can kill things instantly with a sword swipe he's able to figure things out like any most izakai characters uh turns out that the girls seem to like him because he has a submission skill which is or subjugation skill and this is really, really generic. There's some elements that are a lot of fun. Like, I perused through this and I read all the chapters online really quick. And I gotta admit, it's entertaining, but this is super generic. Uh, the only twist is later on in the series, he ends up at a labyrinth. And ends up getting a friend who is a lich who gets brought to life and she's now his love interest because she's also a hikikomori go figure and the first real big bad is one of the classmates who has a really messed up ability and he's just a he's a copycat who's just truly evil out of all the izakais i've read the only notable new difference in this is that one his main offensive ability is using a cane, which is a nice twist. And two, he has luck ability. Besides that, this can be switched with any other series, and it's the same. I mean, it's hinting that he's going to have a harem, but he really does, and he ignores the girls for the most part. Like, they kind of flirt with him, but he's like, I don't want, it. I don't want any of that. I just want to be left alone. Like a hermit. I've read better. Let's be honest. I've read better. I've talked about better Isekai series than this. There are so many others that are more unique and different and do some truly like spinning with this. This is just a, oh, he's left alone and he's going to make friends and things are going to be good even though he still has to be a loner and they're going to find a way to break that curse with his job. And I am just, this, this is just meh. It was fun to read while I could read it, but in the end, I'm not going to remember this tomorrow and... If you're a fan of Izakai's, this might be a fun little trip for you. If you've never read an Izakai, this is an easy introduction to it, and it's not offensive. That's the one thing I do like, is it's not super offensive, it's not super trashy, it's just okay. So it's passable, it's if you want to read a new manga and you don't want to go too crazy, this is fine. But if you're looking for something a little more, you're not going to find it here. And for that reason, out of our ratings, I have to give this a gift from your crazy Aunt Muriel. It's okay, but in the long run, it's super forgettable. I'm going to forget about this, like, next week. And if you've read uh, Lonely Life in Another World and you think differently, let me know. Email me, xaninspirekin.com. Let me know what I missed in this series, if there's something wrong with Haruka that I didn't notice. I just... 
it was okay. It wasn't great. A lot of plot points were overused. And let's be honest, the main villain of the first story arc, it's being the delinquents. Then it turns out, no, it's not the delinquents. Delinquents are being controlled by somebody who's truly horrific. And the person is just... I will give it credit that it doesn't do the typical, oh, they're going to reach the town in the first day, in the first two chapters. I will give that credit. That is one thing it gets credit on. But I just was kind of meh with it. So if you've read this, let me know what you think. Do you disagree? Do you agree? Do you think this is the best thing ever? Do you think this was a good Izekai, a bad Izekai? And more importantly, are you getting tired of Izekais? That's the random question of the day. Do you think that this Izekai wave should stop for a while? Or are you fine with it keep going? I mean, with the current titles that are Izekais that I like reading, those ones can keep going on for a while. But all the rest of the new ones, they should take a break. Give me something else to read. Some new series. Something different. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting senile and old. Who knows? But remember, you can check out any of our other episodes at www.spirekin.com. You can email me personally at zanspirekin.com. Tweet me at spirekin. And with that in mind, let's get to the manga releases for the day. And we've got some fun ones. These are the ones that came out yesterday, June 15th. And we have 21 new titles that came out. We have 21st Century Boys, The Perfect Edition, Volume 12. A School Frozen in Time, Volume 2. Blue Flag, Volume 8. Chobits, the 20th Anniversary Edition, Volume 4, Even Though We're Adults, Volume 2, Fairy Tale Manga Box Set, Volume 5, and now the one that I have truly waited for, that even though I got it last week, it has finally officially been released all over the world and online. I'm talking about Hakuto no Ken, yes, Fist of the North Star, Volume 1. And if you have not bought this, buy it now. Why? Because... Oh my wo wo shinderu. You are already dead. If uh well anyway, Golden Kamui Volume 22. I wish I won't bother you again, the light novel volume one, Knights of the Ice, Volume 6, Maiden Abyss, the official anthology, Lay 2, A Dangerous Hole, Masoni Koku, the Collector's Edition, Volume 4, Mushoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation, the Light Novel, Volume 11. Oku, The Inner Chamber, Volume 18. This one has been a while since it came out, Oku. Volume 17 was like two years ago, I think. Great series. I'm surprised it's still spinning, but whatever. Perfect World, Volume 6. Real Account, 15 through 17. Ruby, The Official Manga, Volume 3. Star Crossed, Volume 2. The Hidden Dungeon Only I Can Enter, The Light Novel, Volume 4. Those Not So Sweet Boys, Volume 3. And World's End Harem, Volume 11. So which of these new titles are you excited for? Like I said, for me, it's going to be Fist of the North Star. I swear I won't bother you again. Mace on Ikoku, Oku the Inner Chamber. Uh, the Hidden Dungeon Only I Can Enter. Uh, 21st Century Boys and Chobits. Those are the ones that are on my pull list. Which ones are you interested in? Or which ones do you think you don't want to read or check out at all? Let me know and we'll talk about this. Let's have a dialogue. And if you want to recommend one of these for me to put on the one that only the Wheel of Manga, you can actually join our Discord at tinyurl.com forward slash spire discord and comment on one you want to enjoy. If you join our Patreon, you're guaranteed to list one for me to put on that wheel. And speaking of which, let's get to that part you've all been waiting for. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about that one, that only, the Wheel! Yes, friends, the Wheel of Manga, except no substitute. Now, what is that one that only the Wheel of Manga? It's a Wheel of Fortune with ten slots on. What I've done is I've assigned a manga tile to each of the ten slots. We're going to just spin this Wheel of Manga. Whatever number it lands on, the manga that's in that spot is the one I review in the next episode of the Spark and Manga Review, episode 423. And we've got some great titles on here, and some which are really just, I'm dreading it. I got an Izekai that on here that, while well, I like it, I don't want to review any more Izekai right now. I need something different, and I've got different things here. So let's spin zero and review in the next episode, shall we? Whoa, retro. Number one. So in the next episode, I'm going to be reviewing a manga that was written by the creator of Steam Detectives. 
and actually is currently being published by Udon Entertainment, but the original release was with Viz Media. I think I have the Viz Media edition. It's been years since I've read this, so I'm going to have to reread this. But the manga that I'm talking about is Silent Mobius. Now, if you've never heard of Silent Mobius before, it is a trippy, weird series involving, well, interdimensional beings, magic, police officers, and sci-fi. So, I want something different, and I got something really different, so we'll see how this goes. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, I am your host, Zan. I'm Gonsville. Catch you guys next time, and keep reading manga. I'll see you later. Mm-hmm.